Hello, City Faith. Um, Pastor Les has asked me if I would give um, a few words of encouragement from looking at the lockdown from an older generation. And um, it's different, isn't it? It's well, But it's the same for all of us. And I think we're adjusting very well. We're now into the fifth week of the lockdown. And I think, to be honest, we've adjusted really well. Um, there's the scripture, isn't it, that it says, you know, in the Psalms, once I was young, now I am old, yet I've never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging for bread. And that's our testimony. You know, we've never, ever gone without. Whenever we've needed anything, the Lord has always provided. And early on, right early on in my Christian walk, I had that um, still small voice that said to me, that I need never worry about provision, that the Lord would always provide for me. And that's been our testimony that the Lord has always provided for us. And the other morning I woke up and I was singing, take courage, my soul, um, slow down, he's in the waiting. And I was looking at the words of it, you know, where it says, um, stay steadfast, my soul, hold on to your hope. Watch your triumph unfold, that we will rise in victory. And we will, we will rise in victory. Things are going to be very different from now on. I can't see us going back. Well, I'd like to see us move forward in a very positive way. And I don't see why we couldn't. But, you know, there's, if you're struggling with anything, um, use the Psalms as your prayers. I mean, there's the Psalm that says... Um, Hear my cry, O Lord, attend unto my prayer. From the ends of the earth I will cry out to you. And when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And that is what we do. We go to the rock that is higher than I. And you know, like, um, the Lord is my shepherd. Well, thank you, Lord, that you are my shepherd, that you are leading me by still waters. And though, even though we do walk through the valley of death or the shadow of death, you are with us and we have nothing to fear. I mean, if we do change our address from this earthly um, thing, and move to a more prominent, uh, permanent address, then so be it. I'm ready. You know, I've got nothing to fear um, because I know the Lord is with me. And even when we look at the situations around us, before we ask, the Lord has answered. I could do with a haircut. Look at that. Melody, are you watching, darling? Never mind. Anyway, have a good day, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching. And um, we'll have a wonderful, wonderful party when we get all get back together. Praise the Lord. Have a good day, everybody.